Steve, uh, thanks for that detailed feedback on my very short comment. This video response is coming from you from the Meatpacking District of Copenhagen. It's Monday, the day after Easter, one day before our spring break ends, and about one week after the end of Learning 2.0. When you think about the answer to your question about uh, learning a definite, like a learning philosophy for this group, I'm thinking design thinking, but um, that's me. I need to have our group work together and look at the different philosophies out there and see what works uh, best for us. About a year ago, I, um, I made an announcement that I was joining Copenhagen International School and at that time I said I use the design thinking process to work through the I don't know how many stages I will be here and that first stage is the empathy stage and that's getting to know the school and learning everything about it and trying not to change anything I, I think I did change things even though I tried not to I'm at the second stage or I'm thinking about the second stage when you're going through that empathy stage you're thinking about so many different ideas and you're just holding yourself back from not doing those ideas. I think uh, the problem is how many of those ideas are actually going to work? What, what's going to work for the school? And that's where I think I'd like to try to implement um, a prototyping stage of people testing out different things. And it's interesting going through the empathy stage, I'd say the first part I had a lot of ideas that were formed from my last school. And the thing is, whatever works for your last school does not work for your new school. So you have to throw those ideas away. I am thinking our next stage will be trying to develop uh, prototyping or... Um, this is where I'm confused. Um, it's not just... I need to get... I need to have ideas, not just my ideas. I need other people's ideas. So it's working together within the committee, forming those ideas, putting them in our ed tech plan. You know, it's interesting as I document this process through video um, I'm not being very clear and concise on the process or direction I'm going because that's the messy thing about design thinking it's really frustrating because it's, it's it's not a direct line it's a squiggly line maybe you know a year from now or two years from now we'll be going through all sorts of processes lots of failure and hopefully that will help form the direction